We are on our uh, brand new series. We're starting a brand new series. That's why I'm so excited. But before that, let me just share to you. Um, uh, anybody here, napanood nyo yung vlog ko? Hindi ba kanunod ng vlog ko? Pambihira naman, no? Yan ang hirap, eh. Pambihira, pastor nyo, hindi nyo sinusundan, eh, no? But and then, I just want to share this because medyo nag-viral siya in a way. First time ko lang to tatlo nanood, okay? So, <laughs> marami siyang engagement, 247,000. Grabe, 91,000 view, ha? Bihira na lang ngayon yan. But anyway, it's all about the numbers. It's about something hitting a nerve sa mga ating kapwa Pilipino. Because I don't know, pag nagbablog ako, tatlo lang nanonood. May two daughters, saka yung wife ko, <laughs> yung maid namin, pumasok, apat. So, and then again, but then, this is about, you know the topic ng vlog ko? Yes, it's about the loto. Grabe. Sino na tumaya? Tas sa kamay. Oh, huli, tatlo. Okay. Ayan, panoorin mo yung vlog ko, ha? Yari ka. Okay, so, okay, so, it's a nice vlog because, <laughs> proud pa siya yung number, binles ko, pastor. Tinas ko kanina, okay. Actually, it's kind of uh, for Christians lang. So if you're not a Christian, don't worry, it's not for you. Kasi nagtalo-talo na rin, mga 2,000 plus uh, ang, ano, eh, ang, ang nag-share. And then, so ang dami, nagtatalo-talo na sila. Hindi man ako nakigulo pag gano'n. Ayam eh. sila magkagulo, okay? But then again, I just realized that a lot of people really are fighting for the 1.1 billion pesos. Ang babait nga eh, nagbaitan. Ako, pastor, gusto ko i-donate sa church. Magtatides. Sabi ko, ngayon nga, wala ka, pa, wala ka pang isang bilyon, hindi ka nagtatides. Tandaan mo, hindi ka magtatides pag nagka isang bilyon ka. So, anyway, ang dami pangako kay Lord, okay? So, it just dawned on me that oftentimes, when we, when we talk about money, sometimes we find the meaning of life that the more you have money, the more you, you have a higher bank account, the more life gets meaningful. Tama ba? Because these people, nung tinitingnan ko lang, ano, I mean, parang they're so into it. A lot of people, kahit saka magpunta pila. Kala ko nga, pila ng, uh, <laughs> ng kung ano man yun, nung pala pila ng mga loto. I'm sure, nakapila kayo ngayon. And okay lang naman yan, kanya-kanya naman trip yan. But I'm just saying, our God is not a God of chances. I mean, He loves small beginnings. Kaya sabi niya sa Proverbs, an inheritance quickly gained will not be blessed at the end, but He who gathers money little by little makes it grow. So I'm not... I'm not discouraging you. I'm not saying na wag kang tumaya. Kung, kung, kung Christian ka lang, okay? You should read your Bible. Baka hindi mo alam. And, and then just don't on me na parang there's a lot of people na find their meaning in life by having more money. Hindi mo masisi because the moment they're born, their parents pinag-aral sa magandang school para ano, para sa high school makakuha ka ng, ng uh, what do you call this? Uh, scholarship. Galing mo sa high school para sa college ang mga pasok ka sa UP, Ateneo, Lasal, kung ano yung mga gusto ng magulang mo. Bakit? Para pagka-graduate mo, may maganda kang trabaho. Bakit? Pag maganda trabaho mo, magkakapera ka. O bakit? Para pag magkapera ka, may maganda ka asawa. Ganun lang naman yun, di ba? Pag, pag may pera, maganda asawa. Napasin mo yun? Mayos ka, kilala kita. Di ba? Para pagka... And then what? And then anak, mamatay ka na. Parang ganun lang, ano? Pinag-aral kang dalawang puntaong para mamatay ng mayaman. Parang, lang, I'm not saying it's bad. But come to think of it, diba, na sabi ko na to once, parang all your life, you want to make it in life, and the make it means the higher the bank account, the better the life. Now, I'm not saying that's bad, but it's life, uh, yun lang ba, that's all there is in life. It's about making it in life. Ano, pag hindi ka na kayo maman, you didn't make it in life? So ultimately, what's the meaning of life? Uh, Magkakameaning ba pag tumama ka na isang bilyon? Wala bang meaning ang buhay mo kung hindi ka umama? Wala bang meaning kung hindi ka, wala ka narating? Paano kung missionary ka sa isang uh, 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 liblib na lugar sa Middle East? Hindi mo ba, wala bang meaning yung buhay mo? So, is there a purpose for my existence? Yun ang mga dapat natin tanungin, tama ba? Ano yung purpose ng pagsipot mo sa mundo na to? And, and come to think of it, the average lifespan ng Pinoy ngayon, sa dami nating betchi na kinakain, 70 years. That's only 25,500 days the moment ka pinanganak. Tama? Kung kaedad nyo ako, mga 30, <coughs> 30 na lang natitira. Okay? Sa, kayo, kung mag-react kayo, parang sinungaling pastor nyo. Kung 30 years old ka, you have 40 years left, 12,000 days, 15,000 days. Kung 40 ka na edad ko ngayon, I'm 44, <clears throat> totoo yun. So I have like, kaming mag-asawa, konti na lang buhay natin palahan, ano? mga may 12,000, 10,000 days pa tayo. Kung si kwenta ka, may 7,000 days ka na lang, tama ba? Kung 60 ka, you do the math, okay? Mga 3,000 na lang araw mo, pre. <laughs> okay? 
and come to think of it, and here you are, 60 ka na, iniisip mo pa kung anong kondo bibilin mo. Parang, parang, you're, you're nearing the death of your life. Iniisip mo parang kung, kung saan ka magta-travel. Is that all there is? I'm not saying that's bad. But what's the meaning of your short existence here on earth? Ano yung purpose ba't kakinrate ni God? Kung naniniwala kang kinrate ka ni God. Tignan mo yung katabi mo. Tignan mo si God ba kung rate yan? <laughs> Medyo pastor abstract to. Di ko alam, okay? And that's the, that's, the, that's the reason for this series. We're gonna have a series entitled The Story of Us. Hindi The House of Us, okay? Wala yun, okay? Ito, mas maganda to. The Story of Us. Mahalaga pong malaman yung kwento natin because without uh, knowing the story, you don't know the context, right? And without context, magulo. Have you ever stepped into a movie house na inabuta mo gitna? Yung saktong-saktong gitna. Okay? Para ang gulo. Oh, ang dami mong tanong sa katabi mo, di ba? Oh, bakit sila nag-aaway? Ay, ba't nag-kiss kanina? Na? Di ba, wala kang context sa nagmula, sa ba ito papunta? Because if you don't know the story, most of the time, magkikrate ka ng sarili mong ending, magkikrate ka ng sarili mong simula. Ang gulo, pagka hindi mo alam yung story ng ating existence dito sa mundo. So, tatlong linggo lang po na story of us. Kaya po, maganda to. I hope makumpleto nyo because we're going to talk about the creation of man this week. Next week, we're going to talk about the fall of man. And then on the third, we're going to talk about the redemption of man. So, tatlong linggo, it's all about anthropology, the story of us. The story of human being like you and me. And hopefully this series will speak to us as always because this is the Word of God. Let's bow down our heads and let's pray for this series. Lord, we thank you. Dahil Panginoon, yung story namin ay napagandang love story. In fact, ito po Panginoon ay um, isang uh, magandang uh, alaala sa amin. Paalala rather, na kami can rate mo at may purpose ka sa aming existence, Lord God. Kaya Lord, as we go through this series, we pray that you're gonna open our hearts you're going to recalibrate yung mga maling t- mindset. You're going to straighten, Lord God, mga baluktot namin pag-iisip. You're going to, Lord, reveal to us your very purpose, but mo kami kidrate in the first place. And hopefully, we can apply it, we can change, we can tweak, we can remove, we can add kung ano may tuturo mo sa amin, Lord God. We're going to be a willing student, Lord God, of your word starting this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. So, if you have your Bible with you, magugustuhan mo to dahil madaling hanapin. Let's open our Bible to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. The very first book, first chapter, first verse in the Bible, and we see here a God who's working. So, si God hindi tamad. Hindi siya umasa sa loto. Okay? So, magtrabaho ka, alright? So, in the beginning, God created. The word created, it means... Uh, Ex nihilo. Ibig sabihin, He created something out of nothing. Because tayo, hindi natin makakaya mag-create ng something from nothing, right? Kaya niya mag-create. Si God, when He created, it's, it's, it's from nothingness. Tayo, pag nag-create ka ng coffee, it came from something. Lagi tayong ganon. And God is the only one who can create, who created something out of nothing, okay? And um, pag, ang ibig sabihin niya, ang implication niya, Creation by Creator God, si God Himself, who alone originates and regulates all of life. Sa Kanya po nagmula ang lahat, entirely new lahat. And uh, we don't have the, the, the time to go through from day 1 to day 5 because we're just gonna jump on day 6. Pero in a nutshell, makita natin yung uh, creation niya for the whole 6 days. Yan po, kinrate niya earth and space and time on the first day. He created everything sa second day sa atmosphere. On the third day, he created, start creating dry land and plants. Uh, remember, on the fourth day, he created the sun, moon, and stars. And then sea and flying creatures naman po on the fifth day. And then the sixth day, kinrate ka niya, ako. And today, some people are, of course, kinakalaban yan, mga evolutionists, na galing daw po tayo, hindi tayo kinrate ni God, right? Kinrate daw po tayo out of a single cell. Kung ano, man, kung ano mga pinuproduce nilang mga, mga weird, uh, of course, teaching, na tayo raw po ay hindi nagmula sa isang creator, ang mas weird naman, nag, nagsimula raw tayo sa unggoy. Tinan mo yung katabi mo lang, ikaw ba? Maniniwala ka bang galing sa unggoyan? Hindi naman mukhang unggoyan, di ba? 
Kaya nakaka-confuse minsan. Iba-ibang kwentong narinig natin. I remember one time si Junjun. Sabi niya, nice naman ba tayo galing? Sabi ng nanay, of course, anak, kay Ebat Adan, sa tao. Okay. And then, pumunta siya sa tatay niya, nandun sa talyero, tay, saan ba tayo galing? Ang gulong ni nanay, tao daw tayo. Pero parang iba yung sinay mo, saan ba tayo galing tayo? Sabi niya, anak, galing tayo sa unggoy. Ang ito may gorilla sa zoo, yun ang ninuno natin. Of course, the, I mean, na-confuse yung bata. Bumalik ka naman sa nanay, nai, ang gulo, ang gulo niyo. Sabi mo, galing tayo sa tao. Sabi ni tatay, galing daw tayo sa unggoy. Of course, yung mommy, sabi, anak, hindi mo naman nilinaw. Pinag-uusapan pala natin yung pamilya niya. Okay, so, okay. So, hindi mo naman nilinaw in the first place. Pamilya pala ng tatay mo pinag-uusapan. That's the problem pag marami, eh, hindi na gets nung isa. Unggoy, tao, pamilya, biyanan. Okay na. Okay, he's with us na. Okay? Okay, on the same page na po. Great. The story of us. So, ang hirap kung ano-anong matatalino nag-i-insinuate na kung ano nung teaching. And here we are, you got so confused because you're not reading your Bible. You're so confused because may napanood ka lang sa History Channel na naniwala ka agad kasi ang galing mag-English. Grabe, no? Ikaw ba man, ikaw ba, papaya kang galing ka sa unggoy? In, kung maka hindi isa, hindi! Kasi kung ano ng kuto, no? Hindi tayo galing sa unggoy because the Bible is very clear. Look up on the screen, verse 26 of chapter 1. Then God said, after creating everything, after preparing everything, gusto ni God, pag bulat ng mata mo, planchado na lahat. Imagine ano? Imagine kung una niya kinrate yung tao. First thing na kinrate yung tao, lumulutang-lutang si Eva, si Adal, ano? si Eva, si Eva. Na ang gulo, di ba? Wala pa palang sun, moon, ang kulit, di ba? Marang, wala pang oxygen level. <gasps> di ba? So, so, nung kinrate niya yung tao, everything was good and when God created man, it was very good. And look at the word. Then God said, remember, when he started, uh, when God started creating everything, puro lang, let there be light. Puro words lang siya. Let there be light, let there be light. But somehow, nung kinrate ka niya, nung kinrate ang human being, let us. Look at the word. Let us. Those words, ang ganda nun. Let us. Ibig sabihin niyan, tayo raw po ay kinrate ni God, relational si God. Right? Relational siya. Let us make man in our own image and likeness. Pinag-isipan ka knowing that God planned your creation, my creation. Ibig sabihin, you're not just a product of a random chance. Hindi ka ba natutuwa na ikaw ay hindi product lang ng hindi pinag-isipan? Imagine mo ka, tinan mo lang ito, kung random chance lang tayo, walang nagplano, paano ko yung ilong mabaliktad? Ang hirap na pag umuulan, di ba? Malulunod ka. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not even being funny. Ano ka ba? Imagine mo kung napunta isang mata mo sa bandang kilikili. Di ba parang, ang hirap mag-plucking nun. Di ba parang, nakita mo ba ako yung kilay mo diretso ang galikod? Parang, and, nakakatawa kasi parang ang weird nun, right? But today, I just want to let you know, you're not a product of a random chance lang. Pinag-isipan ka ni God. When everything is prepared, God created you and me. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Grabe. But here is the funny thing naman kay God. God doesn't need us. I mean, nung sinabi niyang let us make man, the Trinity is involved, Hindi po niya kinailangan yung tao, nalulungkot yung Holy Spirit, mag ka ng tao. Hindi sila nalulungkot, they're in perfect unity. God did not create us because He is lonely or parang may kulang. So pag tinignan mo, eh Jeff, eh ba't pa tayo kinrate ni God? Doon papasok yung pangalawa nating point because we're not just going to talk about our origin, we're going to talk about our purpose. Bakit ka ba nag exist Bakit pa tayo kinrate? Bakit hindi na lang uh, mga hayop at mga, mga uh, kung ano-ano mga kinrate niya? Huwag na lang tao. Bakit siya took the time to create us because God has a purpose of, of creating you and me? 
At pag tinilang mo, in Isaiah, God gave us a glimpse kung anong purpose ba tayo kinirate. In 43.7, sabi, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. There's a purpose but kakinrate ni God and that is not for your glory, which is oftentimes inisip natin, the world revolves around us. Ito, tandaan mo, saksak mo sa baga mo to. It's not about you. Your existence here on earth is not about you. Alam ko, your parents made you think that you are the center of the universe. Yung mga spoiled brat na mga bata rito. Sino yung spoiled brat dito? Yung, lumaki ka na pina, na yung mga magulang mo pinaniwala na ikaw ang sentro ng mundo nila. And growing up, na-realize mo, hindi pala, right? Hindi, wala ka palang special treatment. Some of us really need to think about this. Na the world doesn't revolve around us. We were created for a specific purpose. And that's to give God glory. When you say glory, it means giving weight. When you say glory, it means worshiping and adoring Him. Less of yourself and more of this God. Pag ito na gets mo lang sa buhay, life will be so much easier. Alam mo yung mga taong, ang feeling nila, the world revolves around them. Yung mga prima donna, yung mga self-centered, yung mga self-absorbed, yung mga taong selfish, ang lungkot ng buhay, no? Because they realize the world doesn't revolve around them. Mapapagod sila, matatraffic sila, mahinitan sila, pipila sila. But come to think of it, the only reason why you're existing today is to give God glory. God did not need to create man, yet He created us for His glory. When we first realized, yung una, parang insignificant naman pala ako, but no, we're not insignificant. God wants us to have a relationship with Him. Imagine yung existence mo, a loving God, the eternal God, wants to spend eternity with you. Sino rito in love? Tas me kamay mo, right? Di mo, eh? Huwag tulak ka dalawa. <laughs> yung iba, walang naitulak, darating yan, okay? <laughs> Kapit lang. Medyo baba ang may standard mo, okay? <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome ang mga gusto ng iba eh. So, look up here. Di ba pagkakasama mo yung mahal mo, parang ay mo nang matapos? Now imagine the love of God. Imagine the presence of God. Imagine a union with God. Di ba minsan na-experience natin yan? Yung parang in the midst of your worship, parang ayaw mo nang matapos, kasi matatapos na yung kanta, tama? Ang galing pa naman ni Chona mag-lead, di ba? Parang pag si Chona nag-lead, parang wala lang dating. Pero, pero gusto mo nang kunin yung mic, makikanda sa kanya, di ba? Because we're experiencing a glimpse of heaven. Now imagine throughout eternity, one million times pa na ganun yung Yung, yung, yung feeling because of the presence of God. Heaven is heaven because of the presence of God, by the way. Kaya lang siya naging heaven because of the presence of God. Now imagine for a moment, this God who's holy and righteous wants to spend eternity with you. And He has given us the purpose, sabi dito, so kinrate na niya si Adam at si Eve, sabi ni God, and let them have dominion over sa mga creation niya. Actually, Adam and Eve were given a trust. He, they were given a dominion on the earth, sa lahat ng creation. They were given this one word, trust. Now, tell me, alam ba ni God na sasablay si Eva at Adan? Sino naniniwalang alam na ni God na sasablay si Eva at Adan at i-dishonor siya? Tasa ka kamay, naniniwala ka, right? Okay, yung iba, walang, walang pakialam. Now, kung alam ni God na i-dishonor siya at i-disobey siya, bakit binigyan pa rin niya ng responsibility? Because that's the basis of, of any relationship, trust. They were given dominion of the earth, not the animals. Have you watched yung mga series ng Planet of the Apes? Di ba nakakatakot isipin? Yung, di ba, ang nangyari kasi doon, yung mga unggoy ang naging dominant, ang mga alaga nila instead na unggoy, Tao, right? Nakatali yung mga tao. So, mas matalino sila. 
It's not gonna happen because we were given the dominion over all creation. And the only purpose for that, why God wants you to exist, why God wants you to have, uh, for you to have meaning in life, when you give glory to God. So, um, point is, look up on the screen, whether you eat or drink, if you whatever you do, as menial as drinking or eating, whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. Lahat daw po nang gagawin natin, we should do it for the glory of God. You know what? Your purpose, malalaman mo when you're doing things for God's glory. And when you're doing things for your glory, that's the saddest part of your life. When you think yung ginagawa mo is for your own glory. Kaya nga po, every time we embrace the glory, we're never meant to receive glory. Ang lagi mong di-deflect, si God yan. God gets the glory. May mga accomplishment tayo rito sa lupa. You know what? Yeah, maybe God has gifted me, but at the end of the day, it's God who gets the glory. Si Steph Curry, pag nakakasyot, si God. Pag interview mo, si God. Puro, puro na si God. Eh, wala, ito kasi God talaga. I hope in prayer that tayo mga nandito na lang. Huwag na tayong lumayo. That all of us here today, 1,400 of us here today, imagine if all of us, our default is to give God the glory. Ang ganda ng palaki ng anak mo. Alam mo, I just read from the Bible kasi train a child in the way he should go. But then today, it's God who gets the glory. That's why siguro ganyan yung bata na yan. Alam mo, kung ginawang bago, I just learn it from the Bible and apply what the Bible is saying. Imagine sa negosyo, ang galing mo naman, 300 na branches mo. I'll tell you a secret, kung bata ko naka 300 branches, halika kapit tayo. You know what? It's God who gets the glory. Because it's the only purpose of your existence. Every time you get the glory, you're losing the very purpose of your existence. I'll tell you something. Without purpose in life, we're hopeless. That's why nagugulat ka, ang yayaman tao nagkukumit ng suicide. Tama? Bakit ganun? Billionaire, millionaire, bakit out of the blue, lumabas lang sa, sa bahay niya, nagpasagasa sa tren, this German millionaire. Why? Because pag wala kang greater sense of purpose, you will feel that life is not worth living. And I'm telling you, Every time you give back the glory to God, kahit ano pang karir mo, whether showbiz ka, politician, ingeniero, janitor, every time you give back the glory, you're living out your purpose. Nagigets niyo ba? Simple lang naman ang buhay, mga kapatid. Kinukomplikado lang natin because we always want the glory. Actually, pwede na magtapos dito. Pwede nyo lang iuwi yun. Yun lang, mai- yun lang maiuwi mo ngayon. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's about God. Kaya pag it's about you, isang katotak na problema yan, may worry ka, may fear ka, may anxiety ka, may down ka, may panic attack ka, stress ka, eh bakit hindi? Kung it's about you, it's about your bank account, it's about your career, eh papatay ka para hindi tumakbo sa election tong susunod. Mag-worry ka kasi makukuha yung position mo. Magkakaroon ka ng fear. Matatakot ka, bumababa yung stock market mo ngayon. Magkakaroon ka ngayon ng doubt kay God. May insecure ka. Kasi yung LV mo, may mas maganda na siya. Naka-LX na siya. But so do? LW or whatever. Mas maganda yung model niya sa'yo. May LZ na. Magpapanik ka ngayon dahil mas mayaman sa'yo. Lagi may mas mayaman sa'yo. Nag-ipagpayabang ka sa kotse. May mas mayaman sa'yo. Hindi na kotse yung labanan. Mga ano na, jet na. Naingit ka sa yung mga jet na gaaway sa pagalingan ng jet. Wala na. Ang bakasyon na ngayon sa buwan. Alam niyo ba yun? Si Elon Musk nag-offer na papunta sa buwan. So kunyari mga bilyonaryo kayo, hindi na usapan Europe. Lahat na nakakapunta sa Europe, karamihan mayaman. Ang usapan na ngayon, magbabakasyon ako sa buwan eh. Yun ang totoong mayaman ngayon. Yung, ang unang pupunta, yung Japanese billionaire. So darating ng time naman, common na yung sa buwan. O saka magbabakasyon sa, sa Uranus. Meron may Uranus. Sa, sa Jupiter. Nakikita nyo ba? Lagi may mas mayaman sa'yo. Lagi may mas pogi sa'yo. Lagi may mas magaling mag-preach sa'yo. So kung ikaw ay nakatingin sa sarili mo, it's all about me. Oh my gosh. Ang liit ng mundo mo, pre. Pero pag sigat ang pinasikat mo, it doesn't matter. Eh di wag ka umatend sa service. Hindi naman na, sigat to, pre. 
Nagigets ba natin kung malagiging komplikado ang buhay natin? Because you're not living out your purpose of your existence. It has become about you. Kailangan maganda. Kailangan guwapo. I'm not saying magpapangit ka. I'm just saying, pwede sabi yung, ang ganda mo. <laughs> Anak ako ng Diyos eh. Ang pangit mo. <laughs> I'm just saying, so what? I'm secure. Nakikita mo ba kung gano'ng kalit ang mundo mo pag it's about you? That's why, pag hindi mo alam ang story of us, akala mo, you're existing for your glory, ang papa mo naman. People will come and go. Championships will come and go. Showbiz will come and go. Singers will come and go. But then, if you honor God, it remains. Less of you, more of God. Come on, let's give God praise. Grabe si God. And it's just reminding you, anak, hindi ka itche puera sa mundo na to. Some of you have no purpose for living because feeling mo wala kang purpose. Maring na rape ang nanay mo, kaya ka lumabas. Maring you don't even know your own parents, tinapong ka sa kalye, napulot ka, maybe iniwan ka sa lolo't lola mo. You thought, Walang may gusto sa'yo kung ba't ka nag exist ngayon. Let me tell you something. There are no accidental births. God planned you. Maring hindi ka pinlano ng magulang mo, pero God has planned you. And God has a plan for you. The world may define you, <laughs> but the only one who can define you is your creator and maker, and that is God Himself. Alam mo ba kung ilan ang depressed sa buong mundo ngayon? Grabe. There are... Worldwide, there are 300 million people suffering from depression. Wow! This according to an ABS-CBN report. An estimated cost to global economy is $1 trillion per year. Alam nyo sa Pilipinas, uh, depressive disorder, 3.3 million. Anxiety disorder, another 3.1 million. The case of suicide reported in 2012 is 2,558 suicide cases. Why? Because they're thinking, wala nang purpose ang buhay. Iniwanan ng girlfriend, wala nang purpose ang buhay. May pimples, wala nang purpose ang buhay. Pambira, patays naman yan, ang daming gamot dyan. Okay? Beauty is in the eye of the tiger. Okay, ako. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Si God, ang tingin sa yung ganda mo. Sa sino nagsabi sa yung pagmapayat, yun ang in. Hello, in ngayon ito, pre. Magkagutom man, may, may pondo kami. Sa muna ko yung idea na pagpayat, maganda. Pag maputi, maganda. Puta ka na ba sa ibang bansa? Gusto nila magpaitim. Ikaw naman, ang itim mo, gusto magpaputi. Pumunta ka na lang doon, iin ka doon. Nakikits nyo ba kung gano'ng kababaw minsan tayo mag-isip? Imagine your worth and value is determined by the color of your skin. Oh my gosh, ang babaw mo naman. You don't know your story. Here's what Jesus have to say for you. I have, I, I, I have a plan for you. Nabuntis yung nanay mo na hindi ka pinlano? Na-ray pa nanay mo na hindi mo kilala ng tatay? Well, guess what? God has a plan for you. Hindi ka aksidente. God has a plan for you. He declares to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. So make no mistake about this. God created you. That's our origin. Hindi ka galing sa unggoy, hindi ka galing sa random chance, hindi ka galing kung saan. God planned you. Your existence here on earth, pinlano yan ni Lord. Hindi yung may victim mentality ka. Eh, pinanganak ako sa squatter area. Alam mo, pinanganak ka mahirap, hindi mo kasalanan yon. Eh, kung mamatay ka mahirap, medyo kasalanan mo na yon, pre. Kasi meron ka na lamang victim mentality. Eh, mahirap ako. Eh, pangit ako. Eh, mapayat ako. Eh, ito, hindi ako nakapag-aral. You can spend the rest of your life having that victim mentality or you can stand up there and say, I am valued by God. I am created by God. I have worth and value. I have a plan. God has a plan for me. I will prosper. I'll have a future. I don't know. Maybe hindi lang natin alam. 
But God has a purpose for us. And every time we live out that purpose, the purpose of living out for God's glory, then you're aligned to His will. Ang sarap mabuhay kung existence mo is for God's glory. Eh, ito naman ang maganda kay God. Eh, because ito kumukontra kasi kaya natin si God ng sikat. Eh, gusto mo maging sikat. Sikat naman, pasikate mo si God, i-elevate ka niya because God opposes the proud. Yung mayayamang na self-centered, mga selfish, God opposes them. Pag tinan mo, God, anong ginagawa mo sa heaven? Ito, kinakalabang ko yung mga mayayabang. Yun ang klamaw ni God. God opposes the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. He will elevate you. He will promote you. Seek first His kingdom, and He will do this. Delight yourself in the Lord, He'll give you the desires of your heart. Hindi siya kill joy. Na parang, eh, puro si God na lang, puro si God na lang. No, 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 no. If your heart is to glorify God, God will elevate you as well. So let's finish this. Mga kita mga kauwi ngayon. Let's talk about your identity. So, our origin you have a purpose, and that purpose, that godly purpose, to give God the glory. Okay? It demands identity. So, to, do, to have dominion. Pag sinabi natin dominion over creation, God wants His glory known throughout the earth. Kaya tayo mga born again, God will renew us, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Next week, we're going to talk about the fall. But then God wants to use you and me so that the glory of God will permeate every sector of society. So that's your purpose, that's my purpose. And that purpose demands an identity. So kung godly yung purpose, dapat yung identity na create ni God is also a godly identity. What's our identity as we end this? Then God said, let us make man in our image. Wow! Paano nagka-image si God? Eh, ano siya? Spirit siya, di ba? Hindi lang image, but also likeness. The word that was used there means something cut out. It means representation. You are like God and you're representing God. When you say image and likeness, an object similar to something else and often a representative of it. Pag sinabi natin image of God, Latin word as we know it, imago Dei. Pag sinabi natin, imago day, that's what it meant. Something cut out. Kamuka at ikaw ang representative. Now, ano yung sabihin? God ba tayo? Of course not. There's only one God. But we have, we bear the image and likeness of God. Kahit gano'ng kaganda yung sunset sa Boracay, hindi niya kinekeri yung image and likeness of God. Kahit gano'ng kakit yung aso namin, si Matcha, wala siyang image and likeness of God. Kahit gano'ng kaganda yung iPhone mo, wala yung image and likeness of God. After creating stuff for five days, God created something. Kung baga, si God, I don't know, kasi sabi sa my mall, uh, He fashioned us from clay. So, I don't know, siguro, si God bumaba sa trono niya, salita lang siya ng salita for the rest of the creation, but somehow, when He created human being, excited siya, Holy Spirit, Jesus, involved now in lahat dito. Let us make this man in our image and likeness. He formed us from, from, from dust and breathed life to us. So, parang dito involved siya, excited siya, no, kinrate ka niya. So, saan tayo na, 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 wawang, na wawangki, ano? Na wawangis. Si Pastor Christian kasi, maano to? Magaling to sa Tagalog. You, you know, I, I, I grew up in the States, so... <clears throat> State of poverty, okay? <laughs> so, sa tayo yung wangis natin, saan nawawangis sa Panginoon? Marami pong aspeto, and one of those is our moral aspects. Have you noticed? Pag sinabi natin, may, we are created in the image and likeness of God, we have this uh, a barometer of right and wrong. There is this inner sense of right and wrong. No wonder kahit na atheist nation, Kahit na sa bundok na tralala na walang Diyos, bawal magnakaw. Nakita nyo? Na unearth nila, nahuhukay po ng archaeologists, kahit na lu, lu, ano, uh, uh, liblib na liliblib na lugar, bawal mag-asawa na, ng asawa ng iba. Saan nila nakuha yun? So there's this inner sense of right and wrong. Ito yung hindi ma-explain ng mga evolutionists. Because if they're saying, galing tayo sa unggoy, o galing tayo sa single cell organism, ang tanong lang ng mga born again, eh saan ang galing ang morals ng tao? 
Bakit anywhere in the world, pag may linya, kumat ka, bakit bawal? Bakit may mali? Bakit kahit na komunistang bansa, bawal kang kumuha ng hindi mo pag-aaray? Saan lang galing yon? Bakit alam mo na bawal mga lunya? Bakit alam mo na bawal kumuha ng hindi, ba, na hindi sa'yo? Bakit alam mo bawal pumatay? Because there's the God in, 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 embedded in us an inner sense of right and wrong. Bakit may mali? Pagka nang daya ka, kailangan ka guma... There's an inner sense na, ang dali, mali yun na. O, saan ang galing yung mali mo? Kasi may basis ka ng right, kaya ako naging mali. Nagkikets nyo ba? Ito problema, mga kapatid. Dahil tayo were created in the image and likeness of God, may inner sense of right and wrong, one day, we're gonna have an accounting with God. Because we are all morally accountable before God for our actions. You have to learn that every action, there's a consequence. You have to learn that God gave us free will, but may consequence yan. Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. So pwede ka makipag-sex sa kahit ilang lalaki o babae na gusto mo, yeah, permissible, wala namang babawal sa'yo, kasi matanda ka na, but it's not beneficial. I'm counseling people now who have AIDS, and I'm telling you, ang lagi sinasabi lang ko, mga ibabalik, walang pasto. So all of us can do things because God has given us free will, but it doesn't mean walang consequence yan. You can choose your sin, but never the consequence specific aspect on the likeness natin kay God. Next is our spiritual aspect. Because in the spiritual aspect, we have a spiritual life that enables us to relate to God. Grabe, no? Yung mga hayop, wala po silang spirit. Tayo, we have a soul. We have spirit. Ito pong physical na to, maaagnas din to pag namatay tayo, but we're gonna live somewhere throughout eternity. We will never cease to exist. So, whether you like it or not, pag namatay ka, the Bible says, for we are destined to die once and face judgment. Dalawa lang po, eternity with God sa heaven or eternity apart from God in hell. Well, technically, you cannot escape God's presence. So sa hell, nandun ang presence ni God, but the presence of God's wrath. Sa hell, hindi sikat si Satan. Pinaparusahan din siya ron. And you don't want to be there. By the way, walang purgatorio. Baka may naniniwala pa rito may purgatorio. Wala. Sarado na yata. Hindi mo siya nag exist It's never in the Bible. So, kung gagawa ka ng kasamaan ngayon, maputak ang purgatorio, pagdadasal ka lang mga anak mo para ma-elevate ka sa next level, walang ganun. Baka you're in for a great disappointment. Gawa ka ng gawa ng kasalanan dito, maasa ka pagdadasal ka lang mga anak mo. It's never in the Bible, so it's not true. The Bible is very clear for a man is destined to die once and face judgment. Sabi ni Paul, uh, a presence in the Lord is absence in the body. Walang middle. That's why we're a spiritual creature. One day we're gonna have the presence of God. Sabi ni nung psalmist, in your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Fullness of joy is knowing God and delighting in His presence. One day, Ngayon, mga glimpse-glimpse lang tayo eh. Pwede ka, quiet time ka, you, you, you're enjoying the presence of God sa buhay mo, but one day, it's, 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 it's just a reality for us, an ending presence of God. Because we're a spiritual being. One day, we're gonna die and we're gonna be with God throughout eternity. Next, meron pong mental aspect. We have the ability to reason and think logically. Nakakapag-isip tayo that sets us apart from animal world. Nakita niyo na may ibon kung gaano gumawa ng pugad. May nag-ibon na ba na pugad ng ibon throughout history? Yung tipong ang pugad na nila, ang galing na, simento na, meron ganun. <laughs> Parang may mga, may mga, ano na, may CR na. Okay, nakita mo ba yung ibon na pugad? Mil- thousands of years hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin, tama ba? Hindi sila nag evolve Because they're acting out of nature lang. Pero tayo mga tao, we have the ability to think logically, mga complex mathemati- mathematics, 
not me. Wala ko yata niyan. Okay. So, so hirap, hirap ako hanapin yung find the least common denominator. Okay. Hindi ko makita yun nung araw pa. So, mandila kayo yung mga tao magagaling talaga. So, that's us. We have the mental aspect. Of course, we have the physical and, and, and physical. Dalawa. Ano to? Inuulit? Inuulit? Okay. So, <laughs> hindi yan physical and physical. Let's get physical. Okay. Physical and... Mamaya, tuturo ko sa inyo. Okay. So, nagkamali. That's my bad. Ako gumagawa ng keynote ko. So, so but, but physical means si God ba? May, kat, may katawan ba si God? No, no, no. He's a spirit. But what that meant is, tayo po, makakalit tayo kay God because God hears. We have ears. We can hear because God hears. Doesn't mean may tenga si God, but He can relate to us physically speaking. God sees. Hindi ibig sabihin may mata si God, but He can see. Nagigats nyo? So, that's our identity. That's your original design. We bear the image and likeness of God. And having said that, we have sanctity and dignity. Guys, look up here. This is very important. Life is valuable. Mahalaga ka. That's why we don't submit to abortion. And in fact, if, if, if some of you here are thinking of aborting, I hope and pray hindi mo tutuloy yan. Because life is precious. We should value life. We should value our lives. We should ba- value our body. Every human being, sa mata ni God, sanctified yan at dignified yan. Mali lang yung value system natin. Iniistima natin pagka may yaman, pagka mga taong grasa, parang hindi mo binavalue. Tayo, perverted ang ating value system. Kay God, whether taong grasa yan, o yung anak niya, yung baby oil, o bilyonaryo, lahat yan, God loves them all. Equally. Kaya sabi nga ni, uh, 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 ni God kay, kay Noah, Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. Kaya the Bible is very clear, do not murder. Iba yung do not kill. Kaya sabi nyo, iba't si God, pinutusan niya pumatay yung mga soldier niya. Iba yung do not kill sa do not murder. Okay? So when you say you murder the person, it means God is, is talagang bad trip si God because God created man in his own image. Ano naman implication sa atin yan? Mga, mga, tayo mga tao, knowing that our body, knowing that our life is sanctified, that dignified and valuable, you should value your life. You should value your bodies. You should value other people's life. Palagahan natin. Sino mga dalaga rito? Mga dalaga. Tasan kamay. Yan. Ito may sabihin ako sa inyo ah. You are worth waiting for. Dalaga lang, iyan. Okay. <laughs> Lolo mo yata. You are worth waiting for. Ibig sabihin, huwag mong sayangin yung dignidad mo because God values you. Maring hindi ka pinabalyo ng boyfriend mo, pero sabihin mo, I am worth the wait. Yung mga jolos kasi yung mga lalaki dyan, yung, kung mahal mo ko, patunoyan mo. <laughs> Alam yung mga jolos na lalaki, yung parang gusto lang libreng sex? Eh kung mahal mo ko, maghintay ka. Because I am worth the wait. Sabi ni isang dalaga, nahuli ka pastor. Kahapo ko sana narinig yan. You are worth waiting for again. Okay, so... <laughs> itigil mo na yung kalokohan mo, iha. Kung nangyari na kagabi, itigil mo ngayon, okay? Sabihin mo, I'm a princess of God. I'm the daughter of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm a princess. I am worth the wait. Eh, kaya pong binigay mo na. Nakakalimutan ko lang. Narinig ko yung pastor ko ngayon. Okay lang ba? God is a God of second chances. Okay lang ba? So, kung nagkamali ka, huwag ka nang bumigay ulit, okay? Because you are worth the wait. Mga lalaki, kala mo hindi ko ito babalasahin. <laughs> hindi ngunit binata ka, eh hindi ka kasama, you're a prince. You better act as a prince. I-honor mo yung girlfriend mo. I-honor mo yung mga babae. Treat younger women as sisters. Treat older me- women as mothers. Honor and respect them. Why? Because their lives is sanctified and dignified. Valuable. 
Kaya kahit lalaki, kahit dahil sa mga, wala namang nawawala sa akin, may nawawala sa'yo every time you do that. You wait for the time I do. I'm a pastor. I officiate wedding. And every time I say, and now, sabi ko sa pangalan lalaki, whatever, Jun Jun, you have taken on the responsibility of a husband. You may now kiss the bride. The word now implies, hindi mo pa ginagawa before, tama? Ang grabe standard ni God, ano? You may now kiss the bride. Wow. I'm not saying kung kikikiss kayo, bad yun. No, 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 no. But oftentimes, yung kiss na yun, naglilid to something else. So you are worth the wait. Imagine a man na naghintay hanggang I do. Wow. That's the man we're dying for. <laughs> Let's finish. Di na in love na ibang... <laughs> Bati pa isang lalaki, may plano pa naman ako. <laughs> Naun siya mi. Si Lord na yan. Let's finish this. Okay, nasa week one pa lang tayo. This is just some sort of parang uh, pr- ano to, uh, uh, primary ano to, foundation to. So God created man in His own image and the image of God He created Him. Male and female. May nakita ba kayong third sex? No. You know why male and female? Because God in the beauty of His design wants us to multiply and be fruitful. It says here, part of the purpose of, of, of human being, God blessed them. Look at the word. He blessed them first and then gave them this command. Be fruitful and multiply. How can it multiply kung para yung lalaki can rate ni God? Hello. That's why it's not gonna happen. You can redefine the composition of marriage, man and man, woman or woman. But you can never redefine the Bible. It sticks throughout eternity. The Word of God will prevail. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. God blessed them. And then it says here, kanina, binasa natin, male and female, He created them. We can propose, we can make a bill, whatever bill you want to make. But this is the Word of God. God in all His wisdom created male and female in the image of God. He created them. Now, I get that if you're you're challenged, if you're feeling you have this inkling of being a homosexual, you know what? I have good news for you. We have a special ministry for that. We have designed uh, 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 leaders and pastors who were trained to handle such cases. So if you're struggling with homosexuality, if you're struggling with uh, 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 things na alam mong uh, hindi, hindi tama to, let me tell you something. Don't allow the world to dictate. Because nowadays, people are saying, kung ano feeling mo, yun ang gender mo. If you feel na lalaki ka, lalaki ka. Kung you feel na babae ka, babae ka. It's your preference. No, 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 no. We can never dictate that because only the Creator can do that. We can never self-determine. Hello. Hindi mo naman kinrate yung sarili mo. It's God who creates and the Creator is saying He created only male and female. That's it. You can, you can self-determine but we don't have the wisdom to do that. Only God has the wisdom to say you're a male or a female. I leave it at that, right? But if you need counseling, approach Pastor Christian, approach me, approach our leaders. We'd be more than welcome to help you. We've helped a lot of people na ganon. And God bless them and be fruitful and multiply. And there's the word again, take dominion. Let me ask you this question as we end. Are we the image God made us to be? Are we now living a life, having said that our origin came from God? We have a purpose to give Him glory in everything that we do. And having said that our identity, we were created in the image and likeness of God. If you're living in sin, you're outside of your original identity. That's Satan's identity giving you that lies. But let me tell you something. God's image is in us. It was marred. That's what we'll discuss next week. But there's hope on the third week. But today, let me just leave you with that. God created everything and saw that everything He made. And behold, it was very good. That's who you are. That's a story. Let's end in prayer. Come on, let's all stand. Let me just pray for you. I, I know you're excited for next week, but uh, look up here. Don't leave yet. I believe God, some of you, God has just reinforced your question. 
Maybe to some of you, nakine question, ah, ito ba talaga ako? May purpose ba talaga ako? Maybe some of you are so driven. Yung Sunday mo, yung Saturday mo is just a Christian thing to do. But paglabas mo dito, sinasara mo na yung Bible mo and you're on your own trying to build the kingdom of your own for your glory. Ikaw ang sikat. Maybe that's a reminder for you. Stop, boss. Give God the glory. Because that's the only reason for your existence. To give God the glory. Otherwise, life will be hard. Life will be stressful. Mayaman ka na, malungkot ka pa rin. Tatlo na asawa mo, parang malungkot ka pa rin. <laughs> because life is never about us. Life is all about God giving Him the glory. Lord, we thank You that this story, Lord God, that we have learned today is really, Lord, some of us, Lord, kailangan marinig. It's a reminder for us. Some of us are living it out, thank God. But to some, Lord, na akala nila life is all about them. Lord, we just remind them, Lord God, that you created them and you're the only one who can define them, who can define the very reason of their existence. Okay, Lord, today I know you have touched some hearts here. Lord, we just give them the grace to really apply what they learned today. Knowing, Lord God, that apart from you, Lord, actually we're nothing. We cannot create ourselves. You created us. Okay, Lord, today, we repent of the times we trusted on other people. We trusted on ourselves. We trusted on our business, Lord God. Father, knowing that this is for your glory, you will provide for everything that we need. Because ang ending na to, you get the glory. Okay, Lord, today we just want to honor you, Lord God, for creating us and giving us life. But not only that, giving us eternal life. Because you want to be with us throughout eternity. Father, may you be magnified and glorified in our lives. We just want to honor you, Lord God. We want to hear your story more, Lord God. And we just want to really enjoy the fact that you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen.